about as many seconds. And the handoff of the ground computers to the Ares 1X flight computer has occurred. T minus one minute. Sound suppression water system now armed. The solid rocket booster joint heaters are being turned off. And we're now go inertial. The navigation system is activated. Auxiliary power units have started. Solid rocket motor nozzle gimbal checks are underway. Ignition system is armed. Sound suppression water system is activated. D minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And ignition. Liftoff of Ares 1X. Testing concepts for the future and new rocket design. Altitude now two miles. Taper pressure now tapering off as designed. The vehicle is aligned, aligned itself with the planned trajectory. We passed Mach 1 and we're now passing Max Q. We have our Max Q system ID. We have our PTI engaged. Solid motor chamber pressure picking up again. T plus 62 seconds. Passing Mach 2. The vehicle now at 10 miles altitude, downrange distance 8 miles, and a velocity of 1540 miles per hour. Plus 80 seconds, we've started our supersonic large amplitude ID maneuver PTI. We see the response. Started the last PTI maneuver, structural mode ID, and we passed T plus 105 seconds. It's now traveling Mach 4, 20 miles altitude, downrange distance 32 miles. The uh, SRM tail off is observed. Burnout. Our APUs have shut down, CRDs have shut down, medium fire, and SEP. We show a SEP. We'll have a burnout orbit uh, parameter in just a second. These numbers were calculated right at burnout, the height of apogee, 21.92 nautical miles. And again, that's not peak altitude because the vehicle was still drifting up, but that is at burnout. Coming up on T plus 190 seconds. After vehicle separation, we have no guidance telemetry return. We're still looking at a good telemetry signal. And we can confirm the aeroshell, aeroshell separation. Telemetry engineer Mark Levine making the telemetry calls, assisted by J.J. Joyner. Plus 235 seconds. Our 
Our data quality of telemetry is still very good with the remaining TM channels. Not too much to report. The vehicle is uh, gently returning to Earth at the time. We expected under the parachute, and we were hoping for a, a visual confirmation from the downrange resources, but as of yet, we have not heard from our downrange resources. Next event on the vehicle is the severance of the nozzle to uh, minimize damage on water impact. Three plus, T plus 325 seconds. And at this time, we are LOS here at the uh, AE data station. We've had very good signal throughout the entire mission. We've just passed T plus 360 seconds. Uh, we should be under the main parachute at this time. And unfortunately, our antennas just uh, are not receiving the vehicle anymore. And we did have some brief video of uh, one of the chutes deploying. At this point, the vehicle should have landed in the ocean. We're getting a report from our downrange resource. They have confirmed upper stage water impact. And again, that was the upper stage. And this is uh, Harry's 1X flight commentary. Uh, we're basically done with the uh, active part of the mission. Now it's recovery time, and we still have not heard uh, positive confirmation from the first for the first stage splashdown, but we expect it, it may have been missed uh, on our audio channel. And uh, just Let's think about what we just did. Our first flight test, and the only thing we we're waiting on was weather. That says you all did freaking fantastic. So thank you very much.